speak English. Hey. Uh, I used to get really pissed off at people when they just always assume that I'm not, because I'm, I'm Korean, and everyone always assume I'm Chinese or Japanese, until two really big moments in my life. Um, I'll tell you the first one. Um, I'll let you in on a little secret. Asian people can't tell us each other apart. It's because, <laughs> it's because I used to go on all these business trips. I would go to Hong Kong, and they'd be like, Ni hao! And I'm just like, You're, you should know. I'm Korean. I'm not Chinese. But, you know, that, that was the first step. Um, the second, you know, event in my life was actually a couple months ago. I was taking a mini cab uh, from the airport, and my very Asian-looking taxi driver, he looks at me, and, he, you know, as we're driving, he goes like, are you Chinese? And I'm just like, you know, yeah, uh, no, I'm Korean, I grew up in the States, but, you know, whatever. So, you know, I was going to give it to him back. Are you Chinese? And he, <laughs> he gets pissed off at me. He's like, Chinese people should know, can tell each other apart. I'm from Afghanistan, I was just like, <laughs> what the fuck, a Chinese looking Afghani? I've never seen everything, so, so the next time an Asian person tells you, like, not all Asian people look alike, we can't even tell each other apart, so, but anyhow, um, I'm Korean, and, you know, it, it's, it's quite tough being Korean, because we get shit for two things in life, um, first is North Korea, and second is for eating dogs. And when all the whole threats with bombs and stuff came from North Korea, I knew none of it was going to actually happen. Um, you know why? Because Korean men are full of shit. I dated this guy once and he's just like, I have a very big house. And when I actually saw it, I was just like, that's a fucking garage. Um, but you know, with the eating dogs, I understand why people don't like it, you know? They're quite cute and cuddly and things. But what I don't understand is why South Americans don't get the same amount of shit for eating guinea pigs. <clears throat> because I think they're just not as cute. So if we were to list the things that we can eat because they're not as cute, so let's say chickens and cows and Gwyneth Paltrow's daughter. <laughs> if you have no idea what I mean, Google it. Two gorgeous parents, none of the good genes. <laughs> Um, so I'm Korean, and I, but I grew up in New York, so I never learned Korean properly, so I started taking Korean classes here, so, you know, getting in touch with my cultural side, um, but mainly to communicate with my Korean mail order group. <laughs> Finally getting him to clean the flag properly, but I still need to sort out the cooking and the sex. <laughs> Um, a couple of things about Korean people is that we love sales, but also I think most women love sales, right? So, you know, right now is the time to go shopping for Christmas and everything. Um, but the one, like, most amazing thing happened a couple of years ago, and someone mentioned before, Groupon. It's like a sale every single day. <laughs> and I used to be such a junkie. I used to get stuff for, like, you know, restaurants and spas and everything, and, and it gets old very quickly. Until I shockingly found um, Groupons for Botox for LASIK eye surgery. I'm like, do you really want to get that stuff on sale? And I, I, I swear, one day they're going to offer women um, a group on for artificial insemination. So, <laughs> see, 70% off. But you have to really ask yourself do you really want to buy sperm on sale? <laughs> if it's anything like fashion, it's like the stuff from last season, all the colors and sizes that nobody wants. <laughs> um, I've actually lived in, you know, being American and being Korean, I've actually been in the UK for about over seven years now. Um, so I'm actually British Korean American. Um, <laughs> but before you can go through all that, you have to take this test called Life in the UK. And, you know, you have to learn about things like St. when St. George's Day, the structure of Parliament and everything. But there's this one section on family life. And the thing that they tell you about it is, you know, children in the UK, they don't play outside as much as they used to um, because of video games and, you know, social media and things. But also because of the increased numbers of child molesters. And living in the UK for about seven years now, I kind of understand the British subtleties, and I think what it's really saying is, do you really want to settle here? <laughs> we have people like Jimmy Savile. 
<laughs> Anyhow, well, have a very good night. Thank you very much.